Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Stable video. Today, we are going to be talking about something that I'm sure quite a lot of you have noticed, but now is the time to take advantage of this since Star Stable did something. So without any further ado, let's get into the video then, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Star Stable. That took so long to load in for some reason, but alongside the update of like the whole entire UI change, but it's so weird, I always think I'm lagging out. Beautiful, I love it. <gasps> the chat, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm still not used to it, bestie. It is a jump scare every time I log on, Um, but it's, I don't know if it's good or bad, I really don't. So first, I kind of do want to get an outfit, but as I was saying, like with this new update, we had the release of the new UI, the new horse progression system, everything like that. I want to train this one. I think it's glorious. All right. But alongside the UI, you know, we had the horse progression, like the leveling system, everything kind of got an update. Well, everything 100% did get an update, but as you are training, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed this. Start stable has reset the global leaderboards and global high scores now they usually do this around some updates but they don't normally like mention it anywhere i will check the news and see if they mentioned this but i'm not too sure and basically what this means is you now have a chance to if you do like any race in star stable like steve's right here for example bestie oh uh, i'm being scammed look at my horse xp it's literally why can i not level my bad boy up oh i can okay thank you thank you i thought i was being yeah oh oh okay interesting um anyways but as i was saying with the global high scores and leaderboards this is pretty interesting because usually there are a bunch of people that like speed hack in star stable or speed glitch or anything like that where they would speed up their horse so that it's basically unattainable for you to beat their high score and high scores actually give you prizes in star stable i feel like sometimes we tend to forget this just because there's always like the speed cheaters so it's kind of hard to get and maintain a high score for any race in star stable but if you get first second or third place for a race you do get some yorvik shillings and of course like first place for a week will give you a reward for two weeks and three weeks will give you a reward as well at least that's how i remember it and getting a global high score could be really helpful if you go to your mail you'd get your like reward i will check it out real quick Okay, if I can remember where we find this. Okay, it's high scores. V is the little like, you know, the little hotkey for it. And here you can see the global high scores. Now all of these, there's actually not too many right now just because these servers were reset yesterday on Wednesday. So that means that it'll be two days ago from the time I posted this video, all of these races all of them will have reset scores. Now there are a couple things that you can do in order to get high, oh, I thought Ada was, Ada? Oh, okay, well, if you see like basically how you check if someone's glitching it is their score is really off from the second person, anything like that, or even the fourth person, but I think most of these are good. Or if they have the first score in like so many races, you know, they might be glitching that. Star Stable did say they were going to work on removing these cheaters. So for right now, I'm not too sure if they have any work on that, but it is a work in progress. As I was saying, all of the global high scores have been reset and getting a global high score can not only be fun, but it, I remember it being able to give you rewards. I'm not too sure where it mentions the rewards, but like I know a fact. Okay, wait, here, here are the rewards. So you can compete in this race and try to get a better score. You won't get any reward like horse XP, reputation, or money from racing a high score race as you would in a daily race. There is no limit to how many times you can start a high score race. So bear in mind, if you do get like a really good score, you could practice by training your horses then you can it won't be counted basically you have to do it for no experience 
And when you do a global high score, this is your reward. So if you get gold or anything like that, you just need to be first place. If you get first place monthly, you could get and maintain 2,000 Yorvik shillings, which does seem pretty hard to maintain, but even, you know, we could do it weekly for now. And this is just a great chance before everyone will hack it, glitch it, anything like that, bestie. You have a chance to get on the global high score leaderboard now. And usually this doesn't happen a lot only when star stable resets the scores so i thought this was pretty interesting to take a look at and definitely something that you can check out and try i know personally i haven't done like a global high score race in so long just because you know those scores have been there for so long and like people have been training for those even if you want to get more personal scores now is a great time to do training anything like that because personal scores have been reset i heard as well and when i do my training for me it is reset on my account so i do get more personal scores but some tips on how to get global high score if you really want to bestie is definitely take advantage of this time since these scores were just reset now that means that not many people have tried this out yet and i'm not sure everyone even noticed the global high scores were reset so now is a great time to get your high score before anyone else notices and second another tip is if, like for example nightstar there are so many players on nightstar i think nightstar is actually full right now so another tip would be to go to more abandoned servers if you do want a better chance at doing races and going to more of like the unknown high score races because less people do those like the Icelandic only Tolt race that one is pretty interesting to get a high score on because many people forget its existence so if it for if they forgot their ex its existence bestie I cannot grammar but if they forgot its existence then less people are going to attempt to get a high score let alone train there so definitely now is the time to go and do some of the more forgotten races again i recommend a not known server if you do want a better chance at getting high scores or global scores also going on make sure you have maxed tack and yeah make sure you have max tack that is a huge one for getting high scores a lot of players will just go with their maxed horse and be like i can never beat the high score because your tack is not max messy okay we need everything maxed doing this with maxed horses is definitely good now star stable did mention and i don't think a lot of players know this either right now but 13 is actually the maxed speed level for horses now so the cap of the cap for the level system is level 15 but the horse will stop getting speedy past level 13 if that makes sense so just keep that in mind you can do this on a level 13 horse and still get the xp past that while you do global high scores and also daily races again global high scores are separate from the daily races is oh that fell but they are separate so make sure you are participating in the global high scores challenge and yeah i just wanted to point this out in case some of you guys forgot about the global high scores feature so i did and now is definitely the chance to get back out there and try to beat some global high scores for some pretty small rewards but you know the rewards are still there and now if you ever wanted a chance to get global high scores now is definitely the time to log on to star stable and start doing that because because yeah, a lot of people aren't thinking about that right now. They're thinking about the UI and they're think they're not like, oh, we need to go do the Icelandic Tolt race for the global high score. So definitely you have a huge shot at getting on there. And even the chance of getting a reward on there. Oh, Dundle is so see. Oh my goodness. Like it used to be busting out with people but now there's no one where's your hat oh okay good but yeah i just wanted to make this video to remind you guys and kind of bring your attention to the fact that global high scores were reset in case that is something you are looking towards and as always i hope you have a great day definitely take advantage of this situation because in a few months there are going to be lots global lots of global high scores all right bestie like it is going to be difficult to beat so as always i hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching and stay tuned as i post brand new star stable videos every single day bye bye i also currently have a free 500 star coin code giveaway up on my channel which is leaving very soon or like ending not leaving it's ending so stay tuned and be sure to enter that if you haven't already yeah bye bye <laughs>